Hello traders, good morning. I hope everyone had a good weekend. I've just started the new project, Great British Pound against the US dollar, four hour time frame, and we're doing the Bollinger Band version three methods. So if you've been following, you you would have seen me using the double Bollinger Band, and I've tweaked that um, again. And now the final version is just with the Bollinger Band, um, two, de uh, two standard deviations, it's what I use. Uh, the bit line is a 20 day moving average and I've got the black line here is a 200 day moving average and I think that is there that's a 55 I will make the 55 a different color because it's blending in with the it is blending in with the midline as well that sort of looks the same too much <laughs> Wow, I really booked the hell out of that. Like, like a lime green. Yeah, that works. Okay. So, what are we doing? What are we doing, doing, doing? Smith, Smith, Smith. So, mm, choppy. Some coffee. So, alright. So, just to elaborate, we've got 12 months there because I've run uh, 12 months just to get some data for the support and resistance on the weekly chart. Um, that's why it's at 12. Okay. All right, I think we'll just get trading. So just to clarify, these are weekly support and resistance levels as well. Just get out of the way, and then I use the uh, line graph. Okay. So it's pretty choppy. So just to reiterate, what I'm looking for is a trend to develop. This is a trend trading method. So we have one position with a one R, then another open take profit with a one R trailing exit. Okay, so no, that's what I wanted to do. Okay, there we go. All right, 12.79. So a bit of a breakdown here, and I like to see just was hard because I mean <clears throat> that there is probably tradable so I butchered that a little bit oh well that's right I don't really like this you know this is not I mean this is probably a breakdown I probably missed this if it goes again I might get I might get into it so we'll just see how this pans out I'm just sort of getting my bearings here. It's a new pair. Characteristics are a bit different. So it didn't it did not engage the downward trend. It's sort of back up again. Difficult trading conditions when it presents price action like this. So what I really look for is in a downtrend, the 55 day is a is below the 200 day. So that wasn't like that. So that was semi, but it was more of a, a short term hold because it really bounced quite aggressively. So it wasn't a decent runner. So no, no real harm done, guys. We're at 13.82 months process. Not really looking like we're getting a trade. I mean, there is good distance between the next zone. Um, but we need that green line below the black line as well. sort of meandering about all right that's that's two months completed guys thank you for watching i'll upload this straight away have a great day bye